Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a best and worst luxury purchases of 2022. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Freya and I love to do luxury and fashion content. So if that's your cup of tea, then consider subscribing down below. It's free and it really helps me out. And today I'm going to share with you um, some luxury purchases that I picked up throughout 2022 and I thought I would just share them with you and give you my thoughts and also give you uh, like advice or share my opinions on if I would uh, repurchase or not and I do this video right now because I actually bought a couple of things this year and I don't want this video to be too long so let's move on. <laughs> All right you guys so I'm gonna start off with the first thing that was also on my wish list for this year and I think this is the biggest fail buy that I've had or fail purchase. So this is this pair of Gucci tights. You probably know the infamous Gucci tights and I jumped on the bandwagon. I purchased them this year, like beginning of this year, I think for 120 euros. I purchased them directly in the Gucci store. I got a size a large. I cut off the tag here, but it has the Gucci writing up the top and then it has this gorgeous print and if you put like your hand through it you can see the Gucci logo. I will also insert some pictures where I wear it and I was super super scared to purchase these because I didn't know like how they would hold up, if they would get holes really easily because I'm the worst with tights. Like I buy so many different tights and they always rip. Like they always rip after two or three wears. I don't know how other people do it. And yeah, so I thought maybe spending a little more money but having uh, your money's worth out of these tights is amazing. And initially when I bought them, I saw that there was already a little hole in them, but since they're like um, kind of, yeah, like loosely, knitted i thought it would be okay and i didn't want to exchange them because they don't always have them because i bought them in the midst of like the craze last like this january or february i think i bought them so i kept them i've worn them a couple of times but i am really conscious of where i wear them because i have a dog and if she jumps on my legs i'm really scared so i always make sure that if i wear them my dog isn't around so she doesn't jump on me and um, I just wore them the other night and they're, keep in mind, they're a size large and I'm a size medium and close. And this is my crotch. I don't have no idea how that happened. And I need to take them to a tailor um, to get them replaced. And I need to be careful with my rings. And these are also super high maintenance. I've only washed them once. They're a little like fuzzy looking uh, from like clothes when I wear them with them. Um, as you can see, like it's dusty almost a little bit. I've hand washed them once because I was super afraid to put them in the washing machine. So I just hand washed them um, in the sink and that turned out really well. But yeah, they get like in some areas, like especially on the crotch, they get um, super, super thin. If you can see the difference in the material here and here, here they're still really tight and here they're kind of stretch out which I don't understand because yeah, I bought, bought the size large, which um, would p fit perfectly to my body. But yeah, I'm not really happy with these. I'm really scared to wear them actually. So I don't think that had been a good purchase. And then off to the next thing. I don't know why I'm starting on a bad note here, but um, this is my key pouch by Louis Vuitton. I actually lost my old key pouch and I repurchased also at the beginning of this year. I don't even know when. I think I paid 220 euros just after the uh, like price increase that happened like in early like in the um, springtime of this year or just late winter this year. Um, so it was two uh, 220 euros and I've had this before and before I loved it for some reason and now I actually I think I've never worn this. This is so brand new. Yeah and I'm kind of over the key pouch but I'm still gonna keep it because maybe I will fall back in love with it but currently this is not on any rotation whatsoever. So I think I'm gonna film a video of items that I never wear because I have a lot of items actually that I never wear in my wardrobe but this is one of them. Hasn't been the greatest purchase but I've I know that because I've had this before, I will probably fall back in love with it again. I think this was my next purchase. 
I feel like I haven't bought many bags this year, so I only bought two bags that I'm going to share with you, which isn't much for me actually, but yeah, this has been a really great purchase from the Vintage Bar. I think I paid 480 euros and this is the Prada Canapa Tote in a beautiful beige with a shoulder strap and it's really roomy inside as you can see it has gold hardware and it came with everything it came with the authenticity card i think it came with the original receipt and it was also in very good condition they have like a rating system on their website and this was in very good condition i love the look of it it also has a prada little triangle here which i really like and i just think this is really cool you could also wear it the other way around and have no branding the only thing that annoys me is that there's no like button closer or anything right there so you can't really close it which kind of annoys me a little bit about it and I must say I don't really use big bags that often so this really doesn't come in use that much but I know I, I'm gonna use it a lot more maybe next year so I just think it was a really great price and I picked it up at a really good time during the summer time I picked this up just before my trip to Paris and I also took this to Milan and uh, to Italy with me and I also wear it like when I go to over to friends houses and um, maybe take like some snacks and a bottle of wine or something and I don't want to hold that in my hand so I'm gonna put it in here which is really handy I also like that it has feet and as you can see it's pristine it's uh, it's rarely used but I'm still glad I have it in my collection because I think it's a great size and I think it's really timeless and I think I got a great bargain so I don't regret this one this is the best purchase of this year but definitely not a bad one either I think the next purchase has actually been my Victorine wallet and I picked this up in the summertime because I actually also have the um, Zoe wallet and I have that in monogram and I wanted like a bigger one and also a lighter one for summer so I picked up the Victorine wallet and it has a Rose Valerine interior which is just gorgeous and I would say I liked I like this um, I prefer my Zoe wallet, but I still really like it. Um, I bought it for, I think it was 410 euros and I just picked it up in a, a store in Stuttgart. They always have it. Like, I don't think that's an item that is hard to get or whatsoever. So, um, I just went into the store, picked it up and I'm super happy with it. Can't say anything bad about it. I also like that they, um, now have the gold button instead of the leather button because the leather button just drops off really easily. So this has been, I would say a really positive, uh, purchase, not the, like not the best, 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 but also something that I've been just liking a lot and that I've been using ever since I got it and I'm just giving my other wallet a break, which is fine. And then if I feel like switching into a little smaller wallet, then it's fine as well. And this also fits in all of my bags, which is great. Another item that I've been loving, this has been one of the best purchases ever, are these Prada Sunnies. So they look like this, they're cat eye with like a tortoise shell. Then they have this pink bridge, I think it's called bridge, with the Prada on there on both sides. And I just think they look so good on me. I think they really suit my face. They're super comfortable. They don't have this little nose thingy, which makes it great if you wanna put it up your hat because it doesn't tangle, which is amazing. It's also really comfortable on my hat and it fits with everything that I wear, which is the best. So I've not regretted this. I think they were around 170 euros. I bought them off of Fashionette. If you're interested, I will um, link them on Fashionette down below because I actually don't know how they're called. I just saw them on the website and I really like them. I think they also have another set of arm, or maybe they're called arms, right? <laughs> um, in a different color, I think in like a Connie color, like a brownish color, um, if you don't like the pink, but I think it's really subtle. So I think it's a fun twist and I love pink. So I don't think you can go wrong with these ones. And I actually have a lot of Prada and Mio Mio Sunnies. These are my favorite actually from all of my designer Sunnies. I also have like a, a Dior pair of sunglasses. I have Balenciaga, but I prefer my Prada and Mio Mio because they're from the same house. I like them the most for some reason. So definitely, definitely an amazing purchase and it didn't break the bank. All right, my second to last purchase, which I think 
This combined with the last thing I'm going to share with you has been the favorite of the year. So this has, uh, this is my Fendi baguette. I picked this up for 350 euros, guys. Can you believe I bought it off of the vintage bar? It's a beautiful black suede and I actually don't really like black bags, but I adore this bag. Like this bag is so cute. It gives me 90 chic. It just works with everything. Like even the outfit I'm wearing today just looks so good. The only annoying thing is it's like, it only has one compartment and that you can zip and I've worn this on a couple of nights out and um, yeah, when I get something out of my bag, this kind of, this kind of spills open and I've lost a couple of lipsticks, which is a little annoying, but I really love this for daytime, for nighttime, for everything like this is so chic. I, I think this is the chicest bag that I own and also like probably the cheapest bag that I own, but I love this one so, so, so much and I get a great bargain. Please check out the Vintage Bar. This is not sponsored. I wish it was. I have another bag coming, um, which uh, ah, the, the next one will be my fourth Vintage bag, which I'm just I'm obsessed with vintage bars and uh, vintage bags at the moment and this one also came in brand new condition like I can see nothing the suede hasn't faded it doesn't have any stains it's 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 pristine like the hardware didn't scratch anything and what I love about this because the older models of the Fendi baguette usually have silver hardware and I love gold hardware on bags so um yeah this came with gold hardware and I really like it and this is gonna be probably one of my most worn bags of this year even though I've only had it for a couple of months but I've been loving this so 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 much and my last item I actually wear since I should do the first thing, which is my Giston Clou ring. I just got this for my birthday and my master's at the beginning of October. And I think this has to be my favorite tied in with the Fendi Baguette because it has some sentimental value as well. And because I gifted myself this for my master's degree and I've wanted this for so long. So I have like the trifactor, I have love, the trinity, and the just some clue ring. And I love these three stacked together. Sometimes I wear this one on this index finger. And yeah, I just I, I just adore it. I got it in the small size in rose gold. And um, I just got it um, a couple of days before the price increase, which was amazing. So I sell, saved 60 euros. I bought it for 1,260 euros and now it's 1,320 euros. And yeah, I just love this. I think this is gorgeous. Um, I think this really completes my ring stacks. Now I have to work on some other jewelry, but I'm not sure. But I think my ring stack is completed now. I don't have any ring on my wish list at the moment, which is great. I'm really happy about that. So this is my last purchase and probably my favorite. So we're ending on a good note. I hope you really liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below which was your favorite item. And I will see you guys for my next video. Bye guys.